the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology are teaming up to release a new set of guidelines designed to protect our hearts. The new recommendations stress what is most critical to preventing heart attacks, stroke, and other cardiovascular diseases. Dr. Steve Nissen did not help develop the guidelines, but is a cardiologist at the Cleveland Clinic. He says the new guidelines will allow more people to begin taking statins to lower their cholesterol. When you have drugs that are that effective and quite safe, it makes sense to treat more people. Um, it'll be difficult to know how many more, but it's probably millions of additional Americans will be taking these drugs in the future. Included in this group will be anyone with type 2 diabetes. Also very clear in the guidelines is that everybody with adult type diabetes, also known as type 2 diabetes, between the ages of 40 and 75, should be on a cholesterol-lowering drug. The guidelines stress the importance of a heart-healthy diet that is low in saturated fats, trans fats, and sodium. They're also recommending at least 40 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity aerobic activity three to four times a week. The guidelines are very clear that the first defense is to eat a healthy diet, uh, it's to exercise regularly, and it's to keep your body weight you know, to the normal level. They include information to help healthcare providers better identify people who may be at cardiovascular risk or are having trouble managing their cholesterol levels. There's also a section on obesity which stresses individualized plans and changing behaviors. The reality is it's a disease of lifestyle and we have not been very successful in changing the lifestyle of people with obesity. Now, the new guidelines suggest some approaches. They suggest that there's no magic diet, and I like that. The full report is available on the websites of the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel.